Hello everyone, I'm Driftwood. Welcome back to Learning Game Maker Studio 2. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make health bars for your enemies and uh, how to make a GUI that you can use, a very simple GUI for your player um, that's going to have a health bar uh, and an energy bar. And you'll have to do some things in Photoshop or GIMP um, the way that I'm doing it. Um, but it's very simple, very easy. And like I said, we need to cover all different aspects of uh, making a game, not just the programming. So let's jump into the game and I'll show you what um, it's going to look like so you have an idea if you wanted to do something similar. I also made um, uh, the ability to mute the music with pressing a button. So I pressed M and it paused the music. And we'll talk about that um, later on in a different tutorial. But right now you can see that as I shoot, I've got this yellow bar and it goes down as I shoot and it's also regenerating every step and we'll talk about how I did that um, also you can see I have this health bar and when I get hit I take damage and if I take too much damage I will die and start over here again so you'll also see that on the enemies they've got their own health bar but it only appears once they've taken some damage so if they've got full HP you won't see the health bar but as soon as they take a hit their HP bar will show up as we start shooting them Boom. See that one's got no health bar there. There we go. So that's basically it. That's all we're going to make. It's going to be uh, probably a little bit long, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is moving some variables around. So at the beginning of this uh, tutorial series, but like I said, they're modular, so you don't have to follow it. You may not even have this, but if you have, uh, put your, your HP on your player object. Uh, comment it out for now. Uh, you don't have to delete it yet because maybe you want to change it later. But what we're going to do is create a new object, object underscore status. And that's going to let us uh, control all of the player's stats and other things as well as like the GUI on its own object. So we don't have uh, so much stuff cluttering up the player object because we're already going to have most of the stuff on the player object. So we're going to create a different object, the status object. So create that object if you don't already have it. Let's take a look at that. As far as the player object, you don't have to do anything else but comment out the HP on that. I suppose we should probably do the enemies first because that will be quicker and easier. And maybe we'll just do that in this tutorial. We'll see um, how long that takes. So let's just go to your enemy. Um, we'll look at that. So on your enemy, uh, depending on if you followed every step or not, you may have a, a bunch of different events. The create event, we're controlling the scale. That's actually set to 1 in my game, so I could actually comment that out and it won't do any different. Um, so we're going to use very uh, a simple built-in health bar for the enemies. We'll create our own health bar for the player and a GUI for the player. So we're just going to create a couple variables here. Max HP equals 100. HP equals max HP. We're going to give the players a speed or the, the enemy a speed uh, with the max value between 1 and a random number between 1 and 2. Uh, just to, on that step. But that has nothing to do with the HP bars. This right here is the step event um, moving the player, moving the enemy towards the player, and if his in, if his HP goes below zero um, or hits zero, it shows a dust animation and it kills the enemy. And when it collides with the player, it's going to use the player's health. So we're referencing obj underscore status dot player health, uh, and we're subtracting 20 HP from the player. You can control how much damage the enemy uh, the enemy deals when it crashes into your ship right here. Um, by write that variable. Um, then we're creating dust for when it crashes and we're killing the, the enemy. If the enemy for some reason gets stuck outside the map, we don't want it eating up resources, so we just destroy that event. But uh, here's the draw. Um, so draw GUI and draw are two different kinds of ways of drawing. And every event basically has a draw step built in. And if uh, you you don't add the event draw, then it, it's currently like an invisible draw step that has this code, draw self, which is going to draw the sprite. So if you create a, a new event for draw, you have to include this code, otherwise it won't appear. If you get rid of this event by deleting it uh, or cutting it, then it will automatically draw self again. So if you do any draw, you have to do draw self. Um, so now for the health bar, it's actually pretty simple, this one. Let's extend that just a little bit. So we're going to do a conditional statement, and we're going to say if our HP is less than our max HP, um, you don't have to do this conditional statement if you want the enemies to always have their health bar drawn, but if you want, if you want them to have their health bar drawn 
only when they've taken some damage, then you do this conditional statement. So if their HP is less than their max HP, then we're going to do one thing. We're going to draw underscore health bar. It's a built-in function. Um, you can middle mouse click it to get more information on all of this stuff if I don't make it clear enough for you. You can make it different. You can see all the different ways that it does it. It also sets it to a different color. You can give it a background color and everything. Um, that's how I figured it out. But basically, I've got the, the numbers that I like for my game. You could use these same numbers, but it might look different depending on the size of your sprite. So you'll obviously want to customize it further. So let's look at the first parameter of draw health bar. So this is the, the X one and the Y one is the second one. So that's like the top left, because uh, basically we're just gonna we're gonna define two spots on that sprite, a top left point and a bottom right uh, bottom right point. So X one Y one is the top left and X X two Y two is the bottom right. You can think of it like that, and it's gonna draw a bar between uh, those two points. So it's gonna create like a box where the top left and the bottom right are going to create that box. So you can have it in any rectangular shape you want using this. So for me, I'm using x minus 16, y minus 16. And remember when we subtract x, it goes to the left. When we subtract y, it goes up, uh, opposite from what you learned in your geometry class. Um, so x, uh, y, negative y goes up. So when we're going to the, to the y, x2 and y2, we're going to add 16. So x plus 16, moving it to the right, and a y minus 14. So you may notice that uh, this is 30, the X1 and X2 are 32 pixels apart, right? Because we want it to be really wide. Well, I did. You may have it like up and down bar, and you would have these different. But if we look at the, the Y1 and the Y2, they're pretty close. So there's only two pixels. So their whole health bar is only two pixels wide, And because I'm using 16 by 16 sprites. But if you're using bigger sprites, you want to put a little more space. So maybe a negative 12 if you're doing 32 by 32, or even less than that, maybe like even negative eight if you're using like 64 by 64 sprites and so forth and so on. Experiment with that number to get the box size that you like the best. The next thing is um, like, like this is the, the variable that determines how full the bar is, right? So how do you, how, if you just put HP, it's just gonna be full at all times. Um, so you have to kind of create a ratio um, you, you need to give it like a percentage, like if, if one is a full bar and zero is no bar. So you sort of need to make this, or is it is it a 100? Because we're multiplying that percentage by 100 here. So I think zero is, it's based on percentage, I can tell now. So it's zero is an empty bar and 100 is a full bar. So we need to create uh, some way to, to make our variables like turn into zero to 100. So if you do HP divided by max HP in parentheses, and you multiply that number by 100, well, then that'll give you uh, 0 to 100 at all times, depending on how much HP the player, the enemy has left. So we're going to put a comma. The next thing we're going to do is the background color. So you can reference colors by C underscore. So in this one, color underscore black is going to give you a black background. Put a comma. The next thing is... Um, the color you want the HP bar to become once it's towards the bottom part. Like as the HP bar is getting smaller and there's a little bit of HP left, how much, what color do you want? Typically it's red, you know, you'll go from green to red or blue to red. Um, so um, I'm setting this min color to C underscore red as for color underscore red. The next thing we're going to do is what color should the HP bar be when it's towards the fuller part? So um, I picked green, but you can put whatever colors you want. The next thing is the direction that you want the bar to be filling from. Now, remember in the, one of our previous tutorials, I made a circle and I showed you that zero is default to the right. So if the bar comes from the right to the left, that would be zero. If you want it to go from the left to the right, then you would just put 180. If you want it to go from the top to the bottom, then you would put uh, 90. If you wanted to go from the bottom to the top, you would put 270. I believe that's right. Um, let me know in the comments if that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, so then you can set two more booleans. You can decide to show a background or not. So if you want to show the background, then you say true. It's just going to give you that uh, one line, or it's going to give you that, that uh, background. The, the next thing is show border. This is going to be one pixel all the way uh, outlining the whole border of it. So we can set that to true or false as well. And once you've done that, you've got 
the built you're using the built-in draw health bar function and all of the parameters and you can mess around with that to change the colors and the size of the boxes and the location of where that box appears at right there so pretty much uh, that's it I think we'll uh, I'm I think the smaller tutorials are doing better so I'm gonna keep these tutorials like around 10 15 minutes if I can um, and the next one's going to take probably another 20 minutes so I'll do drawing the health bars on the player uh, in the next section so I guess that'll do it for this tutorial on how to draw simple health bars using the draw um, draw health bar built-in function of the enemy so that'll let your enemies have that HP bar once they've been taking damage now however in order for that HP damage to I have to actually cover one more thing in case you didn't keep up on the other one or you didn't do this yet um, you need to have some way of reducing the enemy's HP right so on your your bullet or your your um, your your laser or whatever you want that's dealing damage your shuriken if you're making a ninja game or whatever you have to have some way to reduce your uh, enemy's HP so when you on your shuriken or your laser or your bullet uh, on this it's actually a step event but you're gonna do add event collision with the you know when your shuriken hits that enemy you're gonna go uh, on that on add the collision thing so collision and then when it collides with the enemy of a frigate and this is the enemy for me it would be like a mushroom dude or whatever it is in your game I don't know so you're gonna put this code um, with other and now whenever we reference uh, this could be tricky it's fooled me a couple times so when you say with other that's saying now we're no longer using the built-in variables uh, that are that are here uh, that we've created for this event we're using the variables that are on the other event so when we say with other HP now we're not referencing obj underscore enemy right here we don't have to you know obj underscore enemy dot HP because when we say with other and this is only gonna happen when we collide with the enemy so when we collide with the enemy have its HP minus equals which is shorthand for um, equals itself minus whatever you want so minus equals now we're going to take the obj underscore laser dot laser power now this is the obj underscore laser right and we would normally just be able to reference laser power in any of our uh, stepping events because we've defined it here but since we're doing with other we have to specify what object we're talking about because now we're no longer inside of the laser object or your shuriken or your bullet object so you have to reverse these to get them to work right so very simple with other open brackets HP minus equal your object of this thing my uh, dot whatever your variable you're using to determine how strong that is so I'm saying laser power is 10 so every time this laser collides with an enemy we're reducing the enemy's HP by 10 and then on the enemy itself you'll have to actually define it at the beginning say it's got its HP and its max HP so at the beginning we're setting them full life and then on the step event um, we're controlling if he has no HP he dies um, but we're actually dealing that damage when the laser collides with the frigate he's taking damage and that's going to uh, fall back into your uh, object status um, right here so that um, oh no that's for uh, this is for the players uh, the players GUI we were doing the one for the, the this one when we actually have the regular draw so whenever we actually this number goes lower so if it's 100 uh, divided by 100 that's 1 times 100 now your bar is full you get hit you're, you take 10 damage now you're 90 divided by 100 uh, 90 divided by your max HP which is 100 times 100 and that's going to give you 90 out of 100 90 percent so then it'll drop the bar down to 90 percent full hopefully that all makes sense it's pretty simple once you give it a shot and, and try it out um, one last thing you have to go to your map and drag and drop your uh, your new object obj status onto the map so once you've done that uh, everything should work kosher and you should be able to have hp bars on your enemies so that's going to do it for this quick tutorial on how to make hp bars uh, for your enemies using the built-in function. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying these Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you'd like more tutorials, I'll know you want them. 
Um, also con uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here. I have lots of RPG Maker MV tutorials if you're interested in that. I do funny, vo uh, funny voices and goofy stuff, uh, first impressions videos on mostly RPG Maker games, but it will expand to other games eventually. And I just started this new Game Maker Studio 2 uh, tutorial series, so you can expect a lot more tutorials for Game Maker Studio 2. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.